Hey guys, so uh, I know this YouTube video today is not all special and set up with mics and cameras and lights and all the things. I'm just on my iPhone here, but I really wanted to get on here and talk about what makes a real estate agent a great real estate agent and what you need to look for whenever you guys are looking for a real estate agent in your area, wherever you are when you're watching this. So one of the key factors about a real estate agent is listening. A really good real estate agent asks the right questions and then just listens to what your needs are. What are your desires? What are your goals in the sell or buy of your property? What do you like when you're buying a property? What don't you like? No one wants to be sent homes and they're looking for a home homes that's not even what they want right so that's one of the biggest things is an agent needs to be able to listen really well to your needs and your desires secondly an agent needs to be a great communicator someone who when they do speak to you they're speaking in a way that you understand them they're speaking in a way that is meeting the way that you need and learn however at the same time will tell you what you need to hear as the expert as as the person who hire who's hiring the expert right so as a real estate agent it's our job to figure out a way and everybody's different to communicate the truth about a property to the client but do it in a way that's not demeaning, hurt, or anything in that way, right? So it's very important that we communicate in a way that works with you as a client. So, and that's usually different every single time because everybody's a little bit different, right? So we talked about listening, we talked about communicating. Third is, a good real estate agent sets boundaries. A good real estate agent understands that family's important, understands that you're important, understands that their life is important. So when you see an agent who doesn't seem like they take really good care of themselves, or they're constantly always just, unless they're single, constantly always just saying, yes, 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 let's go do this, let's go do that. Instead of saying, hey, like, yeah, I can book this showing for you or, or you know, I can meet you out at this house or we can have a listing appointment here. But, um, I, you know, I have, I have a family matter that I spend with my kids on this day. So can we schedule it tomorrow? That is actually a good sign of a good realtor because it shows that they have value. Sorry. It shows that they have value. Okay. And if they value themselves and they value their family, they value their time, they're more inclined to value you as a person and not just a paycheck. Sorry, they are blowing the leaves here at this men in the apartment complex right now. And I guess they're cleaning, so my fault. Um, so value, making sure you understand and they understand the importance of value, you know, and then organization is the real estate agent organized. Can you tell that whenever they, when you have a question, are they diligent about going and getting the answer if they don't know the answer? Are they honest about saying, no, I don't know the answer? Or are they just going to make something up to try to sound smart like they know they're going to do? Guys, if an agent tells you, you know what? I do not know. I don't know the answer, but let me figure it out. That's a sign of a good agent because you're you're getting an honest answer from that person rather than just some bullcrap answer that may or may not be true. So you're hiring again, you're hiring the expert here, right? So they need to be an expert and experts are always learning. Experts don't know everything. Experts are always learning and communicating with people they need to communicate with. So. An expert in this field will say, you know what, I don't, I don't know that answer. I've never run into that situation before. However, 
I know a guy who has. Let me uh, let me contact him and let me see what he says so I can get you the right information the first time. So guys, there are some just basic tips on when you're hiring, hiring your realtor um, and making sure that they are there for you, but they also value themselves as well. Um, when I meet somebody who truly values themselves, I know that I'm gonna be taken care of. So guys, have a great day. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, like I said, I knew this was an unorthodox type of posting. You got the leaf blowers and all that stuff happening. I know this isn't a crazy professional video today, but it's real. And that's what I wanted it to be. And uh, yeah, so guys, please don't please don't hesitate to, uh, to subscribe to the channel. Make, the, make my day. Also, hey, leave a comment down below if you have been thinking about selling your house or buying a home and you're just trouble having trouble finding a realtor. Um, if you are in that situation, let me know. I'm sure I can find somebody who I trust in wherever the area is. We all know somebody who knows somebody and I can help you guys with that. Please don't ever hesitate to uh, ask questions down below. I'm always here for you. you guys have a good day. Bye.